If you're looking for high complication watchmaking without breaking the bank, this Cartier Rotonde retrograde GMT might just be the answer. Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, we've got what is really one of my favorite watches. A lot of you might know, uh, if you've talked to me on the phone when you've called in here to the sales center, that I used to be a Cartier boutique director for many years before I came here. And so this watch has a, a definite uh, soft spot in my heart because I absolutely love this watch. What Cartier has done over the years is they have recognized the fact that their customers deserve the absolute best of everything. So many years ago, they provided their customers watch cases that they designed and manufactured with movements by companies like Jezier Lecoultre and Vacheron Constantin. Over the years, of course, as people have become more and more aware and they've uh, started looking into more about what makes the, the watch tick, so to speak, uh, they have wanted an in-house movement. So Cartier has uh, obliged. They're a huge company, and so they've got a lot of different divisions. So you might think of them as the company that makes say the Tank Francaise or the Louis Cartier classic tank. But all the while, for the last couple of decades, they've also had a high watchmaking division that operates out of Le Chaux de Fond. It's the uh, Cartier Fine Watchmaking Division. And they've been uh, quietly working on some magnificent watches over there. So this is one of my favorite ones because it is crafted in stainless steel. So it is still affordable, even though it has some amazing complications that for the first time I've ever seen them grouped together on a watch in this layout, in this fashion. So it's not really uh, something where you could say, oh, they're just copying what's going on over at Jezier Lecoultre or what's co copying what's happening at Vacheron, since those are both stable mates at the Richemont group. But uh, this is a completely new invention from Cartier. So uh, let's get into it. This is the reference number W1556368. Uh, at its heart is the in-house movement. It's the caliber 1904 FUMC, and that MC stands for manufacturer caliber. You'll always see that on the ends on these Cartier high-end watchmaking uh, in-house movements. Now, the watch is 42 millimeter. This one's stainless steel. It did come at the time also in rose gold and, uh, and white gold, but this is the, the stainless steel version, and so it does keep the price down. It's, uh, it's again, 42 millimeter. It's about almost 12 millimeters thick. It's 11.9 millimeters thick. So it still fits nicely on the wrist, fits under a, a shirt cuff or uh, a shirt sleeve. The dial on the watch is silvered flinke. So it looks like it's a lot like it's their, essentially their guilloche dial. But you can see it's got a lot of different finishes on it. It has the apple shaped hands. Uh, some call them Breguet hands. Uh, I think that Cartier tends to shy away from using the name of one of their competitors. So they call it Apple Hands. And they're blued steel, uh, the typical for Cartier finishes. You also see the blue cabochon on the crown, another Cartier signature. One of the great things about this crown, a lot of crowns on a lot of watches, frankly, are hard to use. This one has these sort of grooved edges and it's a big crown and it doesn't have any crown guards. So it's really easy to manipulate. And that comes in handy because this is the first time that Cartier has ever grouped all of these complications into being controlled by one crown versus having other buttons and pushers and things to, uh, to control them. So what do we have here? We've got the signature Roman numeral dial, the minute track around the edge that you see quite often from Cartier. Um, you have a running seconds hand quite large here at six o'clock. There is a big date at 12 and this is a, a fun one to manipulate because you see the digits change independently of one another at 10 o'clock what looks like a power reserve indicator that's actually a second time zone and it's a retrograde second time zone so what happens is when we pull the crown out and we run the time around you'll see it snap back right around here there it goes and as we advance, you'll see it advances the hours. So you're seeing it on a meter from 0 to 12. It's a 12-hour scale. 
Well, how do we know whether that's AM or PM? Well, that's where the day-night indicator here comes into play. So you'll see it just snap right around. In fact, let me show you how you adjust that independently. You just push the crown here, and that's how you change the second time zone. Just an hour at a time, real easy. Uh, if we pull the crown back out and come on around, you'll see maybe with a little more clarity this time because I've changed the position where it's going to snap back right there. So you can see it's some pretty amazing complications. Uh, you have really everything you need, a second time zone, the day, uh, day night indicator, the date and the running seconds. And then the case itself, you can see it has the screws here and the lugs, uh, makes everything super easy. It has the Cartier double adjustable deployment buckle. You can adjust it from both sides. So you can center the buckle where you want it on your wrist. And as you close it, it keeps the wear of the opening and closing off of the leather and on the steel. So it makes it where it's infinitely adjustable. You can get the exact right fit. You won't be like on a tang buckle watch where you're right between two holes as the right place. You can adjust that. It has the exhibition case back so you can see that phenomenal movement with its Cote de Genève engraving. So this watch is a bargain from Swiss Watch Expo. It was launched in 2014 at the Watches and Wonders show. And it's currently, as of right now in 2021, it's showing not available on the Cartier website. So I think they might have discontinued it quietly, but uh, it's still available here from Swiss Watch Expo. Uh, let me show you what it looks like on the wrist because that's always something that people need to be able to see. And uh, when you call in, give us a shout, see if we've still got it. We've got lots of great Cartier watches and uh, hit the button to like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you get notified when we post new videos. And uh, I think this one just looks great on. 42 millimeter, it's big enough to satisfy the big watch guys, but small enough that the traditionalists, uh, uh, fans of Cartier will also be uh, definitely uh, enamored with it. I think it's one of the best looking watches on the wrist that you could possibly go with. So give us a call here at Swiss Watch Expo, see if we've still got it.